Friday, September 4th. Just met up with the guys a little bit ago. Got unloaded, got everything reloaded to come out and uh, getting ready to hike in. It's uh, been warm the last few days, but it's kind of cooled down a little bit. So we're hoping that that got the elk going a little bit. Um, so we're gonna go in a couple miles and see what we see. Pretty pumped for sure. Daughter's birthday today, so September 4th is gonna be a lucky day maybe. So we'll see. Let's see if uh Oh put pressure on me. Corey's couple years of beauty you like school. This you like this mirror? You like this mirror? Corey's uh beauty school <laughs> experience pays beauty off. School. He went to school to be a beautician put on makeup for Hollywood uh, actors and stuff but he didn't really Dropped like out. didn't really like Southern California when he moved down there a little too hot for him coming from Alaska but he's you can still tell that the technique is Prime. next to none the key is you just get it in your facial hair so that it sticks throughout the entire week All about longevity. <laughs> he doesn't like to reapply his foundation. <laughs> oh, I think we're good. But really guys, nature's paint works real good. Easy on, easy off. I think it'll do.
Oh yeah, but I just don't know. <laughs> and he lets it fly and I look and I'm like, there's a ball. <laughs> well, we uh, spread out to do a little bit of a, a grid. Um, just took a shot about 35 minutes ago. Uh, we were looking for my arrow. Just picked it up. It's got pretty solid penetration. It wasn't a pass through. Um, it, was a, it was a tough shot. It's it's thick in here where we are, but I felt good. Uh, I felt good about the window I had. Um, and uh, yeah, we we started tracking and found the arrow. We're gonna give it a little bit more time. Probably another thirty to forty five minutes. Get a snack. Kind of chat a little bit about a, a plan and uh hopefully we can get on some blood and track this guy out hopefully he didn't go too far um fingers crossed we can recover him and um be thankful that i uh harvested my first bull hopefully Right here! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! No way! Let's go! No job, way, man! man. Dude, I was like, is he gonna sit? No way! Oh, dude, that thing's a stud! Oh, oh my god! god. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we just had food like 20 yards we from the pool. I was like, I can smell elk like crazy. <laughs> He's right there. Dude. Oh, Dude. oh my god. <laughs> Rudy, man. That is almost is stud. Almost unbelievable. <laughs> Holy shit. Literally like 20 yards from where we just stopped and found the arrow. This is about how hard it was to get in here. <laughs> I can't even get this thing. Ready. Try to drag him out of here. Oh, he was just stuck on a root. Oh yeah. Sweet Let's bull, go, man. man. Sweet bull. Thank you guys so much, dude. This is so awesome. First bowl with my with my bow, man. Couldn't be more excited and thankful and glad that it was with you guys, man. I really appreciate it and appreciate you guys kind of dragging me along. I joke around a lot, call Bryant, you know, dad as he's trying <laughs> to teach me everything I need to know out here and could easily call Corey, Uncle Corey, you know, same, same thing, so. This is exciting for me, guys. I know I joke around a lot, but I was, uh, been practicing a lot this off season and got a new bow and was super confident and arrows are flying good before, um, before we came out. So this is kind of just the culmination of a, a hard, long off season of frustration and, uh, just thankful that literally the bulls, I don't even know how far away it is from when I, where I shot him, but 
Um, hell yeah. I'm, I'm pumped. Thanks. Thanks a bunch, guys. Third day out here and uh, been a lot of bull killing and meat packing over the last 18 hours and now it's my turn to have a bow in hand and we got into a good area here so we're gonna see what happens and we're the only ones in here tonight so hopefully as the sun starts to go down we'll hear some bugles and we can chase some elk so give it our best shot here.
35. And then he didn't move, but I thought he was facing downhill. And I had a really good opening if he was going to take two or three steps. But then all of a sudden I saw his head move. And I'm like, fuck, he's facing uphill. So I didn't really have anything. And I had that window the whole time. But I was trying to convince myself because it was kind of through this small. I saw his head, I saw the color change on the neck, and I could see right behind the shoulder, and I was like, okay, I got that window, I ranged 45, that stuff's not going to stop my arrow. No. Let's just hope. I feel confident about the shot. Settled the pin. Um, so just hoping it was a good hit and that he dies quick here. Fingers crossed. We're going to give it some time here. Yeah, buddy. Hell oh. yeah, dude. Man. Yeah. I was getting scared, dude. Oh. Oh. Stud bull. Stud bull. You through a roller coaster. God. Yes. You needed that, man. Been working hard. Oh, yeah. Like we thought, maybe a hair high. Crazy season, man. So jacked. <laughs> Heck yeah. I was getting pretty worried, dude. <laughs> Blood was starting to run out. I was like, man, couldn't see much. It's like he was bleeding pretty good, but then started to dry up a little bit. And, uh, Shoot, what the, that's usually that turning point. It's like he's probably close by, or um, you know, or we didn't make a fatal shot. But I think the good news for us was that he split off from that other bull. The other bull ran off and he kind of took his own path, but he was coming uphill, which is always kind of weird. Um, but yeah, good shot right behind the shoulder, just maybe four inches higher than we wanted to be. I think that's why we weren't getting that real good lung blood, but definitely got enough to enough to put him down. What'd we go, probably 200 yards or so? Yeah, max. Maybe two, 250 yards. Just an awesome bull. It doesn't hurt that he was the bigger bull out of the two also. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool, I had a camera down in the bottom here and pretty sure I got this guy on on camera last night so those elk were in there at 3 a.m. and then kind of 
dinking around there in the morning and so I think we got some pictures of him there it's dark so it's hard to tell if it's this dark antlered bull but um, yeah pretty awesome man by far just an awesome bull big body oh, couldn't be more pumped and look at that that's a road too bad we can't drive on it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pretty cool. Good shooting. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I mean, you you guys didn't see the angle on film, but I showed Corey there was definitely some, you know, some leaves and some small sticks in the way, but I knew exactly he was quartered away from me, which is always, you know, just he was barely slightly quartered away, which is a good, good angle and. I mean, I could make out his body really well, and it was just tiny, tiny sticks that I knew wouldn't really affect the flight of my arrow and just some leaves. And I had got a good range on him. That was one of the most important things. I probably wouldn't have taken the shot if I hadn't been able to get a good range. But I got a good range at 44, so I was able to settle the pin, um, split the the 30 and four, or the 40 and 50 there, and settle it on him and, and feel good about the shot. So. Um, after we you know when you're shooting uphill sometimes you, you should take a few yards off and I didn't so I think if I'd have settled the 40 on him we'd probably he probably have died even quicker but can't complain about this it's about as as good as you can get and we did have some nice blood man the the day six Evo sliced through pretty good and I mean we had good blood all the way up here it just it started to kind of peter out at the very end where he died but um, full pass through and a dead bull. Lots of work to do now. <laughs> All right. I convinced uh, this old man with bad knees to one trip it. Knee. Oh, sorry. One bad knee. <laughs> <laughs> so we are loaded. Got a hind quarter, the head, antlers, gear, and then he's going to grab boned out front shoulder over there a little bit of neck meat and that bag and carry it see how this goes yeah i think the biggest thing is it's only about 1.2 miles on a old logging road so give it a try give it a try <laughs> We're gonna do some locators over here and see if we can get on something that uh, wants to wants to talk. So we'll see. What kind of hunting are we doing out here, Brian? I better grab my bow real quick. It's his first time in the woods. Got his bugle tube too. These elk are just gonna call themselves in or what? 